for better drone performance, you want to have Windows Ink on in your tablet settings. So right here. And also you want to make sure it's on here in tablet interface Windows Ink. Another option is WinTab if we want to turn off the Windows Ink. So then I'll get more sensitivity from my brush. And right now if I press E, I'm using uh, these brushes from here. So I'm using this first one. And let me increase this to be more you know, sensitive. I'm using the Grow. I do find Windows Ink that it, sometimes I can interfere with navigation, some other functionality. So I tend to keep it off for most of the time unless I really need it for sculpting. So I press E and if I pick this guy, you'll see the stroke it's given right here. And this stroke thicker at the, at the beginning, fading out at the beginning, then thin all around, and then just thick guy all across. Another brush is this dotted brush, dotted stroke, but actually if you need to get a dotted stroke, you have to go into Windows, Panels, and Brush Options Panel, which I have on my right now, and it's kind of copying the tools from the base clay, wet clay, and all that. And here I have use spacing button, and I can put it at, say, 222%, and then it will give you the dotted line. And then I can click on the straight line and just say, get some dots going across. Another one is this curve line. So this one does this kind of stuff and there's not much control over the curve. So we can play around with that. For proper control, we need to use the next tool. This is the spline tool, curve stroke. Again, got a lot of description there. And now I can draw this. I can right click to change the curvature of these spots. A few modes. I can just left click drag it across around and then if I press enter it will I jumped for some reason don't know why but then it draws the line across this the spline and they have these options right here a whole bunch of options apply clear she's a pressure profile and you can actually save it and load it so it's a fairly powerful tool uh, this curve profiling I do use it more than the straight lines and all that. Just uh, it has a bit more editability to it. Press E again. I'll pr pick this thing to drag a stamp, and I switch to curve and uh, picked up an alpha. So now I can move this around. If I press Control, it will go down. Let's stamp it out bit by bit. Similar to this, this is like stamp and drag less useful but i prefer just to stamp it using the stamp brush but also pretty cool feature